Well, this is going to be the first one I try to start in the spring of 2008. Got to put, take the tires off the rims, seal the rims, and put them back on. Pull her into the shop. It's uh, April 6. Now just install a battery. Well, there's that ugly dash. See what happens. Oh, that battery's fucked. Well, now I know which batteries survive the winter, and ain't this one. Yep, not that one. Oh well, try number two. Piece of shit. Well, might as well use Old Fateful. She's in. Let's get her done. <clears throat> what the hell? It started perfect after it sat a few years. Says it's got gas. Let me check. Coils plugged in. I put it on this car. I drove it there last year. I don't hear the fuel pump. Has anybody been fucking in here? Ah, oh, damn it. I just did a quick check of the fuses and they're all good. Fuel pump's coming on now. Oh man. Fuck this piece of shit. Well, let's try some miracle juice. Well, it must have no spark. What the fuck? Yeah, I'll fix it another day. My lovely Regal wouldn't start this year. It had this problem. Corrosion underneath the computer plate. Underneath the spark coils. So, let's check it out on this van that died last night. We just towed it back. That thing sure made a great tow vehicle. Since they both have a 3.8, this is what I'm talking about. Your coil packs. And underneath that is a little quarter inch thick uh, computer plate that runs everything. Well, runs it in, runs a spark system anyways. So we've already determined it has no spark, it just died while driving. So let's take the plate off and see what the problem is. Well, just undo all six of these screws. And start unplugging these things, see? Simple as that, they just plug right in get them out of the way. Remember which order they came off in. And voila! It's off. Wow! We sure have some serious corrosion on those plates. 
But I believe the reason why this didn't run is because that plate didn't ground out. This is actually the computer, this plate. Got all electronics underneath it. Got all electronics underneath that corrosion. So, got to sand or scrape all that shit off. Then it should come back to life. There's where your little computer is. Ain't she a beauty? Right, Wolf? Now, flip on your handy dandy power wire brush. Clean this bitch off. Aw, uh, don't that look pretty now? Now I'm just going to scrape just my little pry bar all that crap off. Well, I hope that's a good enough scratch and scrape job to keep that clean so that it makes a good ground connection with this plate. Install. All back together now, ready for the big test. Kind of lost our door handle last night on that mirror. Piece of shit. There you go. That's how you fix a GM car. Metal lover. I decided to see why my poor van, which was fast last year, is losing some races this year. Oh my god, a cubicle of corn in the air filter. 